Way up north in the state of Alaska lives a man, his wife, and kids. And this dude, he lives like hella because that's the way he is. It's hailing! It's hailing outside, Chill! I don't think I've ever seen hail in Alaska. Chill, stay put. Wow! See if I can get some of them. I haven't felt hail in so long. <laughs> I know it's just like frozen rain, but like this, I love it. I'm, not, I'm actually not feeling very good today. No. Nope. We're going on a hike. Part of me is like, I really want to go because I want to get outside. The other part of me is just like, oh, I feel like crap. The other part of me is like, look, it's hailing. I bet it's going to hail really hard up there. And then the other part of me is like, yeah, but you're going to be all wet. It's just going to be nasty. <laughs> what do I do? I don't know. Do I go on this hike? It's up to you. Where I'm from in Oklahoma, it hails like crazy. Like, I remember driving with my parents to get the cars under cover and like parking garages or whatever so they didn't get hit by hail. It's intense there. But I don't know what you should do for your hike. I have no idea. I How thought, long of a hike is it supposed to be? Four hours. Ooh. We're, we're, we're supposed to go to probably two different peaks. Wow. We can make a weighted decision matrix. I have no idea what that is, but let's try it. <laughs> so you have your two options. You have go on a hike, stay home, right? Mm -hmm. And then over here on your columns, you have like all the factors that might play into your decision. So the first step, you list all these out and then you're gonna go through and assign a number one to five to each of these as far as the quality. So like, if you go on a hike, like how good will that guy time be? Zero would be no guy time and five would be like awesome, lots of great guy time. So you do that for all of these and for both options. Got it. So now, Corey, we have to go, how important is each of these factors to your decision? Okay. Now that we've done the importance level of each factor, basically what you do is you multiply the importance of each factor by its corresponding like value for each factor and come up and add, add all these up, come up with a number for going on a hike, come up with a number for staying home, and then you just see which one's greater. Ah, okay, so where am I at? I, I gotta do the math. All right, you two cuddle bugs, the results are in. Okay. <laughs> She's so cute. Mm -hmm. Okay, by 10 points, you should go on your hike. Yeah. Yep. You, go to bed. Good night. Good night, sleepy <laughs> time, go to sleep. <laughs> oh, you think you're, okay. Ah, oh, wake time, back to sleep. <laughs> Jake's all geared up, he's got all his stuff. You're, you're like way prepared, I love it. You just, you just bought this because it's pretty. It is pretty. <laughs> it's because it's shiny. <laughs> Here we are, the end of May, walking in the snow because we're high up in the elevation. Realistically, it's not that high though. It just seems like it because there's snow. Gotta focus. We got a ways to go. Oh, look at that. We are definitely gonna get something on this. Hail, snow, rain. I don't know, but it's gonna hit good. Oh my God, man. What were we thinking? This is the craziest, craziest mountain climb we've ever done. <laughs> Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, here's the hail. It's real small, but it's here, man. Whew. So beautiful. Look at it all. Just collecting. It's gorgeous. Look at that. The sun's finally starting to peek through. The storm's passing us. It's so beautiful. Wow. How you doing? How far do you how far do you think we have until the top? I can't see it. Another mile. Look at the size of the hail that's coming down. It's coming down so lightly though, it's different. It's not like you know the hail that you see in the lower 48. It's like just really hairy fat snowballs or something. Dipping dots, yes! That's exactly what it is. Dude, next time we should do this and like bring the uh, the syrup for it. Oh <laughs> um. I'll be excited by this. <laughs> it is exciting. Have a look at the surface of the ground right now. All dipping dots. Mmm. Yeah. That's so good. 
Oh, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's very, very windy right here. Luckily, I've got a nice coat to stop this wind, but man, I sound like a flag. Okay, now this part, this is steep. This is pretty steep. <laughs> hey, Jake. I think we made it to the top of a mountain. I think, I think so. It sure looks like it. This is beautiful. Yes! This was worth it. This was absolutely worth it. Look at this. Woo! <laughs> oh my God, this is beautiful. <sighs> it's awesome, this, uh, this peak up here. It's one of those peaks where like, if you're afraid of heights, you really shouldn't be up here. Because look all around. It, it looks like it just drops off into nowhere. It's that steep of a peak. But it's beautiful, it's so beautiful. I can't believe we're that high above flat top. Yeah. I didn't think it was that crazy. It is currently 8.20 p.m. Look how bright the sun is still. That's the coolest thing about Alaska is you can go hiking after work, like whenever, and there's still plenty of daylight. It's just your sleep that gets affected. But if you guys follow us on Facebook, you would have seen Corey's live stream that lasted all of like 10 seconds before his cell phone crash. Dramatically, at the very end of the live stream, he was being like pelted by like snow and wind, and it was just very intense. But He's fine, as far as I know, there's just no cell service on top of the mountains. Oh, by the way, I didn't tell you guys, um, this stick that I'm actually walking with, this one right here, this was Nephi Soper's walking stick. His family gave it to me uh, after they came to Anchorage and, and uh, you know, did the services for him. It's a really cool stick and I'm really glad to bring this up here. So, for Nephi's family, just wanna let you know, part of Nephi is still up here. It's a cool stick too. It's got like wolves on it, etched in right there. It's a nice stick. So we've been up on the mountain for a while. It's beautiful, it's awesome, it's warm. But now, now we have to make our way down. And the wind is coming from that side of the mountain. That's why we're sitting a little bit low like this. We have to actually slide to go, what, like like a quarter of the way down the mountain, something like that, maybe halfway, <laughs> something crazy like that. Yeah, downhill in the snow with the wind at our face. Hopefully it's not gonna be too bad. It's not gonna be bad. It's gonna be fun is what it's gonna be. He's over here preparing for the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm in this just like real, really thin like rain thing. It's not even, it's like, it's like a jacket from Walmart. Oh wow, you got a t-shirt on, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm totally not ready for the cold, but look, it's, it, this, this does not say cold to me. You can tell it's warming up. The snow's melting off my shoes. Actually, yeah, I think it is warming up. Yeah, we'll be all right. Legit can't feel my butt. It's like done. I, I stick my hand down back of my pants. Yeah, I, I, I can't feel my butt. That's because you slid off the top of a mountain. I did. It was awesome. I should I should have brought snow pants though. I'm in jeans. Okay, so what happens if I get frostbite on my butt cheeks? <laughs> that wasn't on my list of things that could go wrong today. You know. Oh. That was, that was awesome. I, well, I don't know what my, my favorite part of this whole trip was. Was it like getting up there and getting the dipping Dots raining on us? Or was it the view? Or was it the slide? There's a lot to choose from. The slide was pretty cool though. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and we have made it back to the road. Just about, just about. So stay on the trail. Gotta stay on the trail just for a couple more feet. My knee is okay. Oh, I was worried about my knee this whole time going, oh, please, please don't hurt. But it's okay. A little bit of a twinge on the right side, but... I'm alive. Oh, and my butt cheeks. Status update. I feel them both. They're just wet now. Saying goodbye to sunshine. Saying goodbye to warm. Heading to Alaska where ice will be the norm. So much to see. So much to do. 
And the best part is 